Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. So if you guys remember, this was maybe like a month or two ago, I had did a really interesting video about Napster and, you know, just it was filled with a lot of nostalgia, a lot of back in the day. And when I was younger, you know, me and a lot of people, when we went to go get our music, our video games, you know, um, watch movies or rent movies, we went to rental places. We went to Blockbuster. Um, when we went to go buy music, we got physical copies of our music. We got physical CDs. When we went to go buy movies, we got physical DVDs. And I was stating in that video that a lot of things are coming, you know, are changing, especially with technology. And I didn't realize that we were becoming conditioning with streaming. Remember, Napster was the original streaming service. Apple basically took Napster's idea and legitimized it because they had a stronghold in the industry and it was an older guy. He was in tech and they were willing to listen to him as opposed to an arrogant, quote unquote, 19, 20 year old, right? So I believe that when everything happened with Napster is what kind of rolled out where we're at today with this whole streaming of MP3s and not needing to have, quote unquote, physical disc and physical movies and stuff like that. Well, a lot of people have been sending me this article because it reminded them of everything I was saying in that video. And if you guys do not know, yes, it's another tech podcast, okay? Y'all know I love my tech talk, honey, okay? <laughs> Grab a teacup, <laughs> learn some things. So if y'all do not know, uh, basically Apple, shout out to my phone, <laughs> Apple is being sued for terminating accounts with over $25,000 worth of apps and videos on them. That is a lot of damn money. That's a lot of apps. That's a lot of movies and music and things like that. So I can tell whoever owned this particular account, they've been with Apple a long time. And for some reason, they got terminated. And what I've learned, even from that video when I put that out, you can literally be terminated for anything. On Apple, on Microsoft, on Xbox, you can get terminated for bad behavior. And if they terminate your account, you are not able to log in regardless of what you bought. And that is scary. And this all goes back to the whole, you know, own nothing and you'll be happy. You remember the World Economic Forum, honey. You know, they want us to own nothing. Meanwhile, all these businesses are running to buy homes. They're running to buy land. You know, they want to rent to the people, but they want to be the owners of said property. So don't feed into that shit. So this is what's going on right now. I'm going to go ahead and read this lawsuit to you guys. So Apple is facing two class action lawsuits over the meaning of the words rent and buy. In the first suit, lead plaintiff David Andino argues that Apple's definition of the two words is deceptive since the company can terminate people's Apple IDs and along with them access to content they purchase using the buy button. Thus, Andino's arguing that Apple allows consumers to rent content rather than purchase it outright. If he had known that his access could be cut off at any time, he would not have spent as much of it on iTunes content. Just like Best Buy cannot come into a person's home and repossess movie DVDs that such a person that such a person purchased from, Apple should not be able to remove digital content from its customers. Apple countered by arguing that no reasonable consumer would believe that content purchased through iTunes would be available on the platform indefinitely. But the U.S. District Court Judge John Mendez wasn't buying it. At first noticed by Hollywood Reporter, he rejected the motion filed by Apple that sought to dismiss the suit. That means the suit can move forward with its claim of false advertising and unfair competition, though it could still be settled before going to trial. Apple is also up against a second class action suit related to terminating Apple IDs. This led to plaintiff Matthew Pierce. He claims he lost $24,590.05 on iTunes and the app stores in app purchases, along with $7.63 in his account credit, which became inaccessible when Apple terminated his account. 
Price's lawsuit was filed on Tuesday. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.